Hey, this is John with Flow. In this video, we're going to walk you through the various types of end caps that can be used with Flow wheels. There are multiple attachment styles for attaching a wheel to a frame. The most traditional you're gonna see is something called a quick release skewer. A quick release skewer works on compression. There's a few parts. The end piece here has a compression spring on both sides. And when threaded in place through your hub, you tighten this lever and it allows you to squeeze the wheel onto the frame. Most times you're gonna see a quick release skewer is gonna be on a rim brake wheel. Traditionally, disc brake wheels were using quick release skewers, but that's kind of gone to the wayside. There were some safety issues with those. So most of the time now you're gonna see something else, which is called a through axle uh, type skewer. This is a 12 mil through axle skewer. We actually have a, a wheel here to show you what this looks like. Now there's no compression on this. And the reason for that is that there are threads on the end of this skewer and that actually bolts right into your frame. So you place the skewer in just like this. And when you get to the end, you tighten that down with an Allen key and that threads it directly into your frame. There's also a third style, which is still a through axle but is a larger diameter. This is a 15 mil through axle. Traditionally, this is only seen on a front wheel. Now, trying to understand the difference between all of these is very confusing. The spacing is different, so I'm gonna walk you through what all those different options are. So if you are looking at a rim brake wheel, you're gonna have a skewer just like this, a quick release skewer. And on the front wheel, the spacing is 100 millimeters. On the rear wheel, it's gonna be 130 millimeters. And there are end caps on, the, on a wheel. So if you look at this wheel here right now, this has what is considered a through axle end cap, and you can see a large hole. These end caps can be swapped. We have another video for that if you wanna see what that looks like. You can swap them to something just like this, which is a quick release uh, end cap. So on that rear wheel, as I said, that spacing is gonna be 130 for this quick release skewer. Now, moving to disc brake, there is still a, an option for quick release, but your spacing changes on the rear wheel. It's gonna to go to 135 millimeters of spacing. Front wheel's gonna stay the same at 100. If you move out to a 12 mil through axle, you're gonna to move to something which is a wider spacing in the rear. It's gonna go out to 142 millimeters. So your end caps that you're gonna use, which are just like this, are gonna allow you to keep that spacing at 142 millimeters so that it fits into your frame. It's gonna stay the same on the front, which is still gonna be that 100 millimeter spacing. Now, if you end up getting to a 15 mil through axle just like this, we also have 15 mil end caps that go over the, the skewer just like this. And that's gonna stay the same at 100 up in your front. But we don't have an option for the rear. You generally do not see a through axle at 15 millimeters for any road or gravel bike uh, type application. That is an explanation of all the different end caps and attachment styles for bikes.